Right, so this is uh, Pirate 7. Uh, it's currently a Japan uh, eShop exclusive, although uh, from what I gathered, there is a PC version, which is probably also uh, Japan exclusive. Uh, there's no English translation yet for this. Uh, I'm testing my new capture card for this. Uh, it's just a cheap one, but uh, hopefully it'll work okay. Uh, so this game is a uh, tactical RPG. Uh, I just finished it a few days ago. Uh, this is the last stage here. Uh, once you beat it, there's no new game plus. It just kicks you back here. So uh, uh, these were optional uh, special stages. Uh, one of them you get a character in. Uh, and then there's the uh, three battle stages. Uh, I'll just do one of the early ones just uh because you know it'll go quick kind of show you what it is so here's where you pick your characters there's uh no generic characters in this it's all uh story characters so here's the main character uh, Caribia uh the pirate queen uh uh, Maori, she's the uh, basically a dancer from like Fire Emblems, same uh, skills. Uh, Mercedes, uh, a robot, she's like an optional character. Uh, and uh, I don't know, Percival, uh, one of the Knights of the Round Table, only girl version. And uh, Pony. A uh, kind of generic pirate character. You well, not you know. She has a name, but she doesn't really feature in the story much. Yeah, it's uh, your entire team goes at once. Pick a character, move. Uh, you can see there's not really that much uh, animation or anything. Uh, and this is a very. This is the first uh, side or. You know, a repeatable mission you get, so I'll probably be able to one-shot everybody. Uh, as you can see, each character has a bunch of different attacks. Uh, they use kind of like a PP system like Pokemon, so you can use each a certain number of times per mission. Uh, the main character early on gets a move that lets everybody else uh, move much farther for a couple turns. So there's the uh, level up, so you get uh, some stats. Uh, they're not, uh, you know, it's a bit different than Fire Emblem where you've got, uh, you know, much lower numbers, so you know like one plus one attack is plus one damage on the enemy. I'm not sure what the calculations are in here, but uh, you know, it's uh, more I don't know, like other tactical RPGs. Uh, Caribia here also gets a ability fairly early on where when she defeats an enemy, it lets her move again. Uh, she can do that once per turn, so. Uh, and she's pretty powerful, so you can move her up and do a lot of damage like that. Some characters have, uh, you know, buff abilities as well. This is kind of like a general, uh, you know, all stats up a bit. Uh, some of the battles later in the game do actually get quite tough. Uh, like this is just a, you know, re easy early battle against uh, low level enemies, so I'm pretty much maxed out. But uh, during the game, I did actually. Uh, lose a couple battles and uh, almost lose quite a few uh, and that's on the normal difficulty there is a uh, easy and hard as well uh, as far as equipment goes uh, so here's the equipment screen you can pick the character and then uh, they've got three slots for items the items don't do like a they're not hugely uh, game changing you know they're all just a bit more attack a bit more defense whatever uh, 
most of the battles do let you use uh, four to seven characters or so. Uh, so you can, you know, it's a fair amount. Uh, there's not a, aside from the items, uh, the only other customize, customization you've got is uh, powering up your characters. You get gold during battle and then you can spend it uh, here to power up a, a character's weapon up to, I think it's level 10, and then they disappear from the, li the list. Uh, that's why there's only a couple characters here. It's, Characters I don't use, or characters who I don't use uh, in melee, so I haven't powered them up as much. Uh, here is the uh, conversation thing. Uh, again, I've done most of the characters' conversations. It's like Fire Emblem, you talk to them and then uh, they get a new ability or whatever. And uh, you get some story stuff out of them. Uh, here's, uh, you can look back at the uh, story. Yeah, so that's, uh, I don't know, there's not too much more to it. Uh, uh, here's the, uh, you know, the stat screen. Uh, the art is pretty nice. Yeah, so I think, uh, yeah, there was about uh, like 20 or so main missions. Uh, it took me about, I think it was like 10 to 15 hours to beat the game. Uh, and that was uh, including doing all the, all the side missions. And uh, I had to do quite a bit of grinding to get strong enough to beat the one side mission. Uh, but it, the game is pretty cheap. I think it's like 10 bucks or so. So, you know, if you like... Uh, tactical RPGs. It's a, you know, nice kind of light, quick game. You know, it's not a 90-hour Final Fantasy Tactics or anything like that, but, uh, you know, it's decently good. Uh, yeah, not much else to say about it. Just kind of doing this to show off the game. There's probably not much, uh, you know, other English language uh, news about it or anything. Yeah, so that's uh, everything, I guess.